So in tasting, what we do is take a small amount right off the top. It doesn't take much. That's the warmest part right here. I'm going to invert the spoon. Mm. Cover all 9,000 taste bud. Aerate it. Warm it up. Driving up that top note, that cream, pure vanilla, sweeteners. Mm. That's a 10. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. It's your favorite hosts with the most. It's Sam the Bomb. And with me is Danny Hoot Nanny. Hello, and, everybody. And Nick Boy Bebop. Perfect introduction. I couldn't think of it. I got nothing, man. I was scrolling through my list of random notes that I made. Didn't find you one. You gotta write down, like, Nick colloquialisms I have a book of them I got them I have ready. a just I just have a blob of notes on my phone just get a Google Doc that are totally unorganized and then open the Google Doc on your phone you know uh if you haven't heard by now I'm a little sick <laughs> so like today I was a little better but like yesterday was the worst yes like cause it, well we're recording on a Monday but like yeah like Sunday like I told everyone on Discord I was like you guys I'm dying I want Nick to have my computer, so he's got a good computer. Danny can have my cats, and uh, everyone else on Are the Discord. Are you sure you want me to have your cats? Because I think Treasure would want to keep them. Oh, yeah. Probably. I'll ask her later. Either way, so if you it's like, I sound super, super hoarse, that's why. I only get sick, like, once or twice a year. So, like, when I do get sick, it hits me like a... It hits me like a pacho. So it's like, oh, God. Anyway, later in the episode, we're going to talk about 10 out of 10s. Because when you're listening to this, it's going to be 10 10, October 10. And we're going to talk about what makes a 10 out of 10 show. Does a 10 have to be perfect? Why rate a show? Why do you rate a show 10 out of 10? And then we're going to kind of break that down a little bit. Obviously, everyone's got a different answer. So, like, it's kind of like, how do you answer those questions, right? Well, we're going to do it for you so you don't have to. Because that's what we're here for. We're going to think for you and tell you what to give a 10. We're going to tell <laughs> you what to do. Yeah. Subliminal <laughs> messaging, just like, just Nick's voice really quickly. Just jolted in, like, the recording. Just like, give Arya a 10. One frame flashes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah one. School days. School days. <laughs> you like it. School days. Ew. Um, but yeah, hell yeah. Let's do that, shall we? But first, really quick, so I can blow my nose, let's take a break right here. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Welcome back. (laughs) Oh, that feels better. Our new sponsor, our Kleenex. Our new sponsor, (laughs) Sherry (laughs) Schnozberries. These snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah, dude. My sinuses are clearing up a bit today. So I feel like yesterday I was like, it was just stuck. Boogers were just stuck. I wish stuck. I had that. I wish I had that, dude. That'd be, that'd be fucking awesome. What, boogers? At least you don't got it like I got it, man. Complain about my shit. My nose is worse off than yours. Fuck you. You have no problems. <laughs> yeah, and the Nick's nose is like fucked Nobody up. Nobody else has any health problems except for Nick. Nick's, yeah, Nick's right? nose is Let actually. Let that be no. Yeah, Nick, Nick. I don't did, care if you're in a hospital bed. I got it worse Nick than Nick did too much cocaine or something. No, I'm just kidding. No, I just got a weird thing with my nose where it's like too open on the left side. Like the little membrane in the back is like not processing right. I don't That's know. so I'm weird, dude. Know. Yeah. Fuck. It might be, uh, what do you call it? Deviated septum? I don't know. You gotta get the. It sucks. What do you? What do you? Not an X-ray, but oh no, you would do an X-ray for that, wouldn't you? I had a guy look at it, and, you and do he's an like, X-ray "Oh, and then get surgery." Looks okay. For it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So well, he like eyeballed it, and he's like, "Well, it looks fine to me." Well, <laughs> like, looks yeah, you probably can't see it from there, so it's like, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's probably like in the back you know. or whatever. 
Anyway, links. Yeah, anyway, anyway, Summit done that. You can go there, find everything right there. Twitter, you Discord. Got good, Sam. You're lucky. I know. I interrupted you. No, Sorry. it's like I fucking no, but no, you're right though. Like, cause I, like normally people get sick like three to five times a year. I only get sick once or twice a year, so it's like, I would rather do it that way than get sick three or five times a year. But like, yeah. Anyway, links on anyway. Summit done that. You can find. Dude, we get sick five times a year. Holy shit, dude! Fucking Trisha, she's always pooping. Like old people, Smokey, dude. Smokey's always pooping. He's got diarrheas. <laughs> <laughs> like old people. <laughs> yeah, infants and old people, they get sick all the time. And I gotta get a give a shout out to the new patron, K. That's like that's like Ooh. what their patron name is. It's just K. So shout out to the new patron. Thank you so much. The anime named K. I love you. I love you. I love you. Do 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 do. You're so beautiful. I wonder how they, like, make a screen name with, like, the minimum character count if their name is just K. Is it just, like, K-A-Y, Y, 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 Y? They put like K, K in a bunch of numbers, probably. <laughs> like They spell it out. Zero, 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 one, zero, put binary. Or, yeah, they spell it out, yeah. No, they do the, they do the, uh, the Xbox version. X capital X, X, K. Underscore, X yeah. capital X, X, 420. 420 plays it, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, speaking of patrons, just real quick, I gotta tell this fucking story, because it's fucking funny. <laughs> Danny, you chime in whenever you want, but it's just, this, this okay. is fucking hilarious. Really quick. So, <laughs> last week, after we got done recording, Danny was like, Sam, did you message Quoka about getting me a microphone? Because me and her had talked, like, just during Girl Talk, so that she's like, we, like, I was like, we should get a new microphone, because yours... The one you have is like an area mic, and it picks up a lot of shit, you know? Mm-hmm. You should get one like picks me and Nick. Picks up Nick's. the dogs barking and everything. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had four hosts on the show while Danny had that mic. Her dog was the other host. <laughs> Her dog was the other host. <laughs> barking downstairs. Just barking. And so I, I, she had been asking me that for like a, a, a month or so, because that was like a month ago when we were talking about it. And I kept forgetting to message Quoka about it. And I, the last week, last weekend, we recorded kind of late last week, like late in the week, like Thursday night. Or, yeah, no, Wednesday, Wednesday night, night. Wednesday night. And I had asked him about it. And then he got back to me. Like, he's in Taiwan right now. I don't fucking know why. He's just everywhere in Asia. <laughs> and Taking pictures of his milk tea. So when, yeah, so when he messages me back, it's like, it's like three or four in the morning. So I don't catch it until I get up like at six, whatever. So I messaged him back, and I was like, yeah, bitch, because, you know, whatever. So this is like Friday morning already, and we're talking, and he's like, okay, I got, I found one, but what color should we get her? Should I get red, black, or teal? So I, I, I legit, this is like, it's like 9 in the morning for me, which is like 10 in the morning for Danny. I text message her, and I go, I'm like, bitch. I'm about to buy a fucking huge ass dildo for my butt right now. What should I? Oh what? yeah, I dude, I knew it was gonna go. There. <laughs> what color should I get? Black, teal, or red? You get purple every time, dude. You gotta get purple. Well, there wasn't purple available, so I was like, <laughs> and they probably sold out. They probably dude. sold so, out. It's dude. So popular, dude. It's like the tentacles. No, but I agree with you. You should always get purple. And so then Danny goes, "I would get the black one," and I was like, "Okay, sweet, I'm doing this." Okay, Danny. I think we know a little thing or two now. I was like, I was like, I'm doing this sex store thing i'm signing up for this rewards program thing and if i re- refer a friend um they're gonna send you like a free japanese rope and some lube or whatever so that should come in the mail like this weekend and she was like oh okay cool that's gonna be nice because i have a hot date this weekend <laughs> and i couldn't tell if she was like fucking with me or playing <laughs> just playing along Dude, I was dead serious. But like. she, but then later she texts me and she's like, "But no, like seriously, like that's gonna be exciting because like I'm trying to, I'm trying to get with it, you know." And I was like, I, I was showing Quoka screenshots of it the whole time. Like, I'm like, this girl is dead ass serious. Like, she legit thinks she's getting rope, <laughs> Japanese rope in the mail. And Quoka's just like, "Lmao, you have to tell that." <laughs> We're gonna send you rope, Danny. <laughs> and a little bit of anthrax in there too. Why not? Whatever. So th- I literally had no idea. <laughs> so it was supposed to come this weekend, but then something got fucked up with Amazon or something. So it came today instead. So I I had been messaging her all weekend, like, "Hey, let me know when you get that in the mail," you know. And she's like, "Okay, sweet." 
And then I was like, oh, sorry, it's not going to come for your date in time because uh, something got fucked up in the mail. And she's like, okay, but it should come tomorrow. So then this morning, um, Quoka messages me and he goes, uh, he's like, it's shipped. It should get there today. I'm like, okay, cool. And uh, she messages, she fucking dead ass. <laughs> she messages me today, like at, like at six something. Yeah, it's so like, like six my time or, or uh, six your time, seven my time or something. She like goes, that. Sam. I'm like, what? <laughs> She's like, were you fib me about the sexy stuff? And I was like, no, gendo emoji. <laughs> and then she goes, because I got a Blue Yeti mic in the mail. <laughs> and then I put a gif of like Ryan Gosling giggling or whatever. <laughs> She's just like, what's going on? And so then I told her. Well, look, it's a it's a versatile tool. You can use the mic for multiple uses. Multiple uses. If you want. Oh, bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> so then I ex- you wanna If you want to hurt yourself really bad. <laughs> So I, I fucking explained it to her, and she was like, damn, I was looking forward to the sexy stuff, though. <laughs> I fucking died laughing. Dude. I was fucking, I was trying so hard not to tell everyone in the Discord, because I wanted to wait to tell it on the podcast. I was laughing so fucking hard the whole entire time, dude. She dead ass thought she was going to get some sex shit in the mail. It was so fucking funny. I mean, why not? Like, who gives a shit? Well, like... I knew. I also knew she would fall for it because people know how I am. Like, I'm super sexual, so it's like. Yeah. So to Danny, she was probably like, "Oh, Sam would be shopping for dicks right now, like whatever." Yeah. <laughs> but like, no, like, it was super it funny. Was, honestly, it was totally normal to be like when you were <laughs> asking me that, like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and at first, I was all like. Why is she asking me what color she knows she wants for a dildo? I'm like, you gotta look at it, man. Okay. You, want, you want it to be aesthetically pleasing. And you know what I was gonna say? I was gonna say, does the black one have sparkles on it? Oh my god! <laughs> Going full My Little Pony. Yeah. Mm. So anyway. Yeah. Those things are expensive, by the way. Sex toys are not cheap. No. At least the good you ones. You want to get the good ones, yeah. Not yeah. that I would know, because I've never bought one, because, frankly. Yes, you have. <laughs> so just so, I don't so need just it. so you guys know, and I said this in my <laughs> vlog, too, my patron's exclusive vlog. If you are a patron, you got to see it on the patron page. That's the stuff your money is going towards right now, is upgrading our stuff right now. So, like... Which we're grateful for. Yeah, my camera and Danny's mic, which you're listening to her on it right now. So that's why I was like, speaking of patrons, I got to tell you this story. It's fucking funny. <laughs> so thank you guys. But you guys are going to get something as well. We're, we're seriously in the works of um, giving out some goodies and stuff like that. And not speaking of goodies, um, this is going to be like an exclusive patrons only kind of thing. Um, my, my mic my blue yeti mic actually came with a downloadable of assassin's creed odyssey on the pc now i don't have a pc and i already have the game so um yeah i'm kind of giving it away so i don't know how we want to do this giveaway but yeah gotta do it soon so if you want it that's for the patrons yeah. only so if you want to become a patron by the time you hear this you should and maybe you get entered into getting a copy of assassin's creed odyssey so do that okay it's for the pc there's a promo code that you enter in i'm sure the directions are in there but yeah i was like i was telling quoka i was like i think danny already has that for the ps4 but yeah quoka was like then you can give it away so for for the patrons for you buying her that mic she'll give that away and all that's good stuff. So anyway, sorry, Yay. I took a little longer than I wanted, but that that was yeah. We're gonna have to really <laughs> put some show notes on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's like fifteen minutes. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad. It was fucking funny. I had to tell dude, fucking no worries. dildos. It, yeah, it was the story had to be told. Fucking dildos. It's for the patrons. There you go. The fucking dildos. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to waifu and his bando, shall we? Ten out of tens. Let's do it. Waifu is Akari Mizunashi from Aria. The Miss Expert of Happiness. And, uh... So, I mean, you should just let me do this Okay, shit, you go ahead and do it. I'm it. about to die. You said... Uh, she's, you're like Miss Expert of Happiness. <laughs> I'm <laughs> you like... Said, I'm trying like to sound lively to right now. I'm sorry. I'm trying there. to. You go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah. Take the lead. So, look. Akari from the show Aria. Well, Aria the Animation. There's there's another anime called Aria Scarlet Ammo. 
Forget that one. We're talking about Aria the Animation and the sequels. And the reason we picked Akari is because she is, like, the stereotypical, like, perfect girl. She's great at making friends. That's her. Her superpower is building friendship and, like, being happy all the time. The power so of love. She's basically, like, the perfect person. Probably a little too perfect, to be honest. But that's what the show is about. And I figured it makes sense on this topic since we're doing 10 out of 10s. We pick shows that we... We're going to talk about shows that we gave either a 10 or close to a 10. So, you know, that, that's one of mine. So, Akari. There we go. And let's see. The next one, Husbando of the week, is Reinhard von Lohengram from Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Or, Sam, Sam can you do the Japanese thing or are you too sick right now? No way, dude. It'd oh, be like, no. oh, the no. I wanted to make you say Ginga Eudensetsu. <laughs> Ginga Yudin Setsu. Okay, right. what is that? It's like I'll German it. or what? Reinhard von Lohengram. Yeah, it's like loosely German, I think. Or Because uh, a lot of the a lot of the it's probably uh, Deutsch. It's Dutch. Maybe it's Dutsch. Well, well, Deutsch is like German, right? Anyway, that's what they call it. Deutschland. Oh, yeah. Deutsch it. is not German, first of all. No, Deutschland. That's what they call it. Anyway, um, so yeah, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. It's the it's the big anime space opera that everybody with an ounce of taste, has given a 10 out of 10. And if you haven't seen it, then you're not a real anime fan. Just saying. You're not real oh. so in general. We picked it because real. he's perfect. And frankly, we could have gotten away with just putting Reinhardt for husbando and waifu because his hair is is luxurious and flowing. He's got those beautiful blonde locks, especially later in the show. His hair gets longer and longer. And he's, man pretty. he's man pretty. He's man pretty. Anyway, he's super hot. Actually, he rules the uh, he rules one of the fleets. Yang Wenli rules the other, and actually, there's a couple other factions too. But it's a very complicated. Nick, space you've seen every battles, episode of that crazy the original, show. haven't you? Or no, dude? I watched that all on my phone <laughs> like three years Jesus ago. Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Probably watch it on a bigger screen. But you're watching the new <laughs> one too, right? Or no? Yeah, I watched the new one. the The new one is like it's more. Um, it sticks closer to the novel that it's based off of. But yeah, it's like a lot of political intrigue and a lot of like philosophical, you know, ideas and especially the original very good voice acting. They had like 500 300 voice actors in that show. I feel like if you They you're... actually had to put like little name tags under every person when they introduced them cuz they they didn't bother like introducing, you know, and doing the anime dump or they just had a guy show up and it's like, "Oh, this is fucking uh Munich or whatever. What the fuck's his name?" Right. Anyway. I feel like if you're into that kind of that wartime Oberstein. drama politics stuff dude if you like yeah if you like war dramas if you like crazy really good shit then yeah Legend of Black but it Heroes. gets like it gets like super into it like oh if we do this it's the number six rated anime on mal like if we do this tomorrow what's it gonna be like for the future of this kingdom kind of shit you know what i mean like it's some yeah they get deep yeah it. it's kind of idealized versions of like democracy versus like imperialism or authoritarianism so um, yeah, Galactic Empire, Free, Pran- Free Planets Alliance. They're kind of, you know, fighting against each other. A lot of corruption and intrigue and really interesting space battles that are basically almost 2D because they didn't, like, they could make it 3D. But anyway, it's cool. It's a really good show. Reinhard von Logram. You know what? Fuck Akari. This guy is the waifu and the husbando. All right? His long hair lets him into both categories. Gonna put that, I'm going to put him in the thumbnail for YouTube. How about that? Yeah. There we go. Boom, planning on the podcast. And vice versa, if we get a short-haired or bald chick, she can also be a husbando. Just saying. All right, for the future. It's all based on the hair. Gender bending, else. I like it. Okay, let's do yeah. it. <laughs> the hair is all that matters. <laughs> Does the hair look good? That's what makes a 10 out God, of 10. Now I want to look at some hot bald chicks. Speaking too. of 10 out of 10. Is that just me? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Trisha shaved her head, like uh, like the beginning of summer. I was like, at first I wasn't into dude, it, like V for Vendetta style, man. Dude, she went, she straight up took a razor and was bald. And at first I wasn't into it, and then I was like, you, you want to do it, it? <laughs> like, <laughs> dude? It was awesome. It was sick. You're like, yo, can you kneel over for a little bit? I got to look at my reflection <laughs> for real. Okay. Anyway, Nick, why don't you tell us what it is, dog? This is your topic idea, and I think it's a great idea. I think it's cool so, to talk yeah, about this. I stole this idea from, I think it was the R Anime <laughs> Podcast. It was either them or AAA. Mm-hmm. 
they talk they had a, a neat little it might have been like a mini topic they did where they're like oh it's october 10th let's talk about our 10 out of 10 anime and i guess subsequently you could do like september what is it yeah like september 10th and so on you know down the what's list what's our of 9 months. out of 10 yeah yeah what's our 9 out of 10 but like 10 out of 10 is it kind of it's it's easier it's it's round and uh you know it works and better. this landed on so, our release day so it was like perfect yeah, that's the other reason too. It's like <laughs> the episode releases on the tenth, so I'm like, we have to do it. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it was easy, and we were watching other stuff too to catch up. So shout out to the Iron um, Anime. Shout out to AAA. Yeah, those are both good anime podcasts. Everyone should check them out. So, ten out of ten anime. Basically, we're going to talk about, like you said, some what makes a ten out of ten for us. Why would we give something a ten? Does it have to be perfect to get a ten? You know. Um, and just like the basic like, aspects of like what is a ten, you know, what what is a ten out of ten, and why is October the best month, and also spooky month, right? Which we'll talk about. We have one of those topics coming up later. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, so let's just start. What makes a ten? What makes I'll let you a guys 10? take it away. It it's just like because like it's it's kind of hard because like would I. Am I rating this a 10 out of 10 because based on my standards or should I be rating it based on like what the, what, a, what generally is good storytelling or a good thing is, you know, or a good show is, but like most of the time when I'm rating stuff, I'm rating it based on my perception of what is good and like what, how, if I, how much I enjoyed it for me, I'm kind of into like the all encompassing things it's like like if i know like it's like here here's a sci-fi anime okay cool it's got it's got enough drama it's got enough comedy for the for the kind of sci-fi show it is it has just enough romance you know whatever you know what i mean so i'm i guess i'm kind of doing a little bit of both i'm kind of like doing the general what's what's generally good plus my personal taste so I like the ones that that where I can have a show that is like a nice package, you know what I mean? Like a nice package of there's not too much of one thing and there's not too little of another thing. It's like perfect, like in all aspects. Like if you're gonna give me a drama, and you want to throw in comedy in there, if you throw in too much comedy, it's just gonna be like, okay, what is this, right? But if you give me a drama and you throw in just enough and it, it works, then it's like. That's good to me. You know what I mean? That for what me, about you, for me anyway. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Nana is a good example of like a good uh, drama uh, mixed in with like comedy and lightheartedness. Nana. That's from like 2006. Okay. The TV show Nana. Yeah. Um, but I mean, <clears throat> I guess like. For me, I feel like reading a show a 10 out of 10 is a lot harder than reading a movie 10 out of 10. So. Yeah, there's more chances to mess up. Yeah, like as like the show progresses, you know, it could the show could have a really good beginning, but then it could it could definitely go downhill depending on what happens and everything like that. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Not to mention the uh, if they have like production issues making the show, where you right. end up with like a really bad episode. Yeah, just because yeah. they were like, "Fuck, <laughs> we don't have time to make an episode." <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> or or they just ran out of ideas. They're like, "We need a filler episode," and mm-hmm. you know, they add in stuff that's not very good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think a good example. Not of, that movies of the... are immune, but what about you, Nick? What do you what do you because I know the way you rate stuff is is pretty different from how like me and Danny do, especially. Well, I have the uh, my in, own enlightened, patented secret formula for rating secret things. Secret formula. It's called how I feel at the time. <laughs> how I feel at the time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I used to have like this complicated system where I like gave everything a weighted or a, a weighted score. Like, oh, animation, sound in my own like little spreadsheet and it just added it all up. It's like, Oh, this gets a 9.7. Like nothing actually ended up being a 10. Um, 
But now it's more like so freaking complicated, man. Well, it, nothing gets a ten unless you give literally every category a ten because it just go to a nine point nine or whatever. But so like yeah, it's just I put it. It's like a it's like a tier, right? We mentioned it before. Where you have tiers, like you got your S tier, your A tier, and so on. Tens for me are just the S tier. It's like the top, you know, the, what do you call it? Best in class, like those car commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's basically for me, it's like, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be, if it ha- if if the highs are high enough and the lows aren't too low, then I give it a 10. So, for example, let's find one. So, like, Angel's Egg, which we reviewed a long time ago, that show has, or that movie, I mean, has basically no characterization, no plot. So those are, like, zeros. But the atmosphere and the ideas behind it are just so intriguing and, like, really well put together in the, in the sound the presentation. design. presentation. And, and the animation is all so beautiful that, like, that it's good enough to carry it and give it a, that I that I gave it a ten, you know what I mean? I, Not I a agree with show you. I agree with you. Or movie. I forgot. There's a word. I can't remember. It's like a German word. It starts with a G or something. It's like a long word. It, all all it means is like when <clears throat> when everything comes together and fits perfectly and like each aspect, you know, animation, sound, characters, etc., all add up and like drive toward the main ideas of the of the movie mm-hmm. then it's a 10 that you know what i mean so like if you have any wasted space or char- like a character that shouldn't be there or like a scene that shouldn't be there then it can't be then it's not like perfectly um like put together mm-hmm. i can't remember that word it's it's like a weird long word i feel um, like i know what you're it's talking not, about it's like shot and it's not it's not shot in freud but it's kind of like that word. It's, it's a word like that zoom tight for it yeah, it's Gazoon tight. We'll just call it that. <laughs> is what you would say if I sneezed. But right like, now. yeah, when, when every little aspect builds toward the whole, you know, like like Dark Souls style, right? Where like every aspect of it builds toward the the main theme, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's how. That's what I give. That's a, 10, a good so. answer, Jesus from Christ. Okay. Okay. Well, this, I was going to try to look that up, over. Like, Nick uh, clearly has the up. greatest answer here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought see you guys next I week. Was, I was tired of being embarrassed on the theme park episode, so <laughs> fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah, no, fucking Danny. He's still salty that he lost. Took that bitch. I didn't lose. I just had a setback. I was tired. I stubbed my toe. All right. Oh, <laughs> poor baby. Oh, that's a good answer, though. That's a good answer. I Angel's Egg is like the perfect um, movie. Like that's a perfect example. For the next question on our on our thing here, does a ten have to be quote unquote perfect, or can a ten out of ten show have flaws? I mean, yeah, because a lot of people say it has to be perfect, right? Like it has to be perfectly sand down, you know, whatever. I yeah, I personally don't think that it does. I mean, there there are shows and stuff that I have listed. And this is just me. Like, I'm not speaking for anybody else. But, like, there are shows that I got listed as 10s on my thing, on my list, that I have nitpicks about or have flaws. You know what I mean? Like, there are 10 out of 10 shows out there that have, like, one or two, like, regular size flaws and st- people still give them 10s, you know? Um, but Angels, I, I think, is that perfect kind of example. Um where it's kind of like yeah, you guys don't have to give it a ten. Maybe you guys gave it a five. Like a, that'd be kind of a weird score to give that. Sh- that movie's kind of like a one or a ten. <laughs> it's it's not really. You can't give it a five. But weird it's score. You weird like it or you hate it. Weird. Weird. Yeah, like Mac didn't even finish it. I know that. Yeah, Mac and Quoco were like, "What is this? I don't know what this is." <laughs> yeah, most people would say that. It's not. It's it's like the sh- movie should never have been made. But yeah, like <laughs> me and Trisha watched it together because I was like, "Babe, I have to watch this for this episode." And we watched it, and she was like, that was fucking cool. And I was like, hey, dude. It's a real, yeah. Uh, and I think I think why Angel's Egg is so, like, either you love it or you hate it is, like, and that episode that you, that you guys did for that specifically is perfect because 
you know, I mean, I wouldn't say that that Nick is very artsy or anything like that, but he he has like a critic point of view. Um, I'm just and... imagining my emoji <laughs> reacting <laughs> to you saying that <laughs> Nick face emoji. <laughs> How dare you? First of all, <laughs> I'm the most artistic person in the podcast. No, you're not. <laughs> well, let's face it. Um but in some like you're very you're very artistic like you know music and you can draw and everything like that so and that that film is very is very artistic in itself Mm -hmm. so because didn't they didn't they get the the guy who does the the art the artwork for final fantasy yeah what's his name yoshitaka amano yes yeah amano yep yeah So they got him to 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 do all the drawings and everything like that. So right off the bat, I think he did, he did like the character designs. Yeah, right off the, the bat, that's somebody saying, else. yeah, that's saying, you know, this is this is an art, this is an art film, not like something that you show your friends at a party, like, oh, hey, you should watch this, you know. Right. Yeah, and it's really out there and like just bizarre. <laughs> yeah, and there's very little dialogue so, in it too. Yeah. So you have to have an open mind when you're watching Angel's Egg. Another example I think too is like I think um like in my mind, right? Like if you talk to me about like if you say, Oh Sam, did you ever see Samurai Champloo? I'm like ten out of ten show. Hell yeah. But like there's things about it that are like mm, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm sure if you went back and watched it, you'd find an episode that was like, oh, that was just okay." Yeah. Yeah. See, that show, that show, I didn't give a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I didn't either. But like I'm saying like because like it's weird, right? Because like then how do you with shows like that that are like episodic like that? Would you score it differently if it wasn't a show that was episodic that it went from episode to episode? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But like. Like okay, so a ten out of ten on on my list is Cowboy Bebop, because that's oh, yeah, it's same. like a, that's the same creator, right? Same it's guy, same episodic, yeah. Yeah. same the guy, loose yeah. story in there too. Yeah. So, but like, I I I gave that a ten out of ten because to me that's like what I described in the beginning was like that's like the perfect package. It's like the perfect package of characters. There's enough comedy and drama in it. There's a little that little tinge of romance that that is part of Spike's story. But there's not way too much romance. Oh no! Well, like, if there was Jet any has... more, it would probably be weird. Yeah. Jet has yeah. his own romance. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in Ganymede Elegy, yeah. Yeah. Like that's 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 how good of a show it is. Is I remember the episode names of that show. Like people will be like, yeah, I think a lot of people do. Yeah, a lot but of we, people we do. We grew up in the time where it was on TV, so well, because it was like it's like the names are, the names of that well, show. Well, th- the thing is, like, what the stuff you watch when you're younger, it gets like imprinted on you more easily. Mm-hmm. It gets ingrained so, in your like, butthole, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's hard for me to remember, I don't know, shows that I watched <clears throat> a couple of years ago. One, because I've watched a shitload of stuff since then. But, like, two, just because, you know, you're older. Your brain is hardened and and crackling and falling apart, you know? Crackling and falling apart. We're dude. boomers now. Snap, crackle, I'm just going to come out and say it. We're boomers. Most of it's they're easy to remember too. We because, are not boomers because most of the most of the names are like a planet and a genre of music. So it's Ganymede, Elegy, Jupiter, Jazz, and yeah. yeah. I have Gateway a T-shirt. Shuffle. I have a I have a T-shirt of uh cow, a Cowboy Bebop T-shirt, and on the back it has all the names of the of of the episodes on the back of it. Yeah. Side note. <laughs> and then like those, I think th- those. It's interesting though. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, no. I was going to say, like, those one-off episodes had different names. But anyway, yeah. what were you saying? Mushroom Samba. Mushroom Samba. Yeah. the. Uh, I think it's interesting because, like, a lot of Americans or Westerners will give Cowboy Bebop a 10. But in Japan, it didn't do very well, apparently. Or didn't sell as well as a lot of other stuff. A lot of the more, like, otaku stuff. Sure. Because I think Cowboy Bebop a- a- appeals more to, like, the Western, um, like, personality where it's, like, more freedom and and um like making your own forging your own path and stuff like that it definitely does more, more like solitude you know and whereas in the in japan and like a lot of asian countries or at least parts of them they value like unity and 
you know, like the community, that type of aspect more. And Cowboy Bebop was, it had small pockets of that, but it was like Wild Wild West. You know, it was like, they're bounty it's hunters. You know, they're West. in space. It's they're a lonely, space western. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's that's interesting because like they, a lot of them would not give it a 10. They're like, what is this? I don't even understand it. You know, I don't like it that much. But us, like, we totally understand because like, that's our culture. So yeah, I've seen it's it. weird that, like, Cowboy Bebop's, like, almost more American than a lot of American stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it comparable to the shows like Firefly and things like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But, yeah, anyway, that was I'm sorry. That's just one example. I didn't mean to go off on a Cowboy Bebop tangent. But, like, to me, that's... Oh, it's the Angel's Egg episode, Sam. What are we doing? Go back to Angel's Egg. <laughs> yeah, this is now Angel's Egg podcast. Um, but, yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. Like, Who's your favorite character? Mine's the girl. Mine's the girl. <laughs> Dibs. Mine's the tank. The the tanks that come through. <laughs> the flesh tank. The flesh Ooh, tank. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, gross. What's uh? What's some examples of ten out of tens that you got on yours, Danny? Like, what's what are some that you think are ten out of ten that you've heard other people be okay, like? Not counting the Fujoshi stuff, though. <laughs> God, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, wait. Say your say. Like, what are some shows that are on yours song? that, what are some shows on yours that, like. Yeah, what's another example? Of a 10 out of 10 that, like, has flaws or, or that, that other people have Oh, not yeah, we're rated. still in that part. Yeah. Um, yeah, so something that has flaws that, that you gave a 10. Because I think you said that you don't think it has to be. No, it really doesn't. I mean. I tend to be perfect. Danny, what's there to think about? Just pick no, something. No, I got so much. That's the thing. Like, I have a lot of shit that's 10. Okay. Just pick um, anything that's a TV show. They all, all right, applause. Fruits Basket. Fruits Basket, I would say. Like. Oh, surprise, surprise. Th- shut the fuck I'm just kidding. up, you <laughs> asshole. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Jeez. okay. That one's not Fujoshi, well, though. Wait, well, ha- does it have to be a TV show or can it be a movie? It could be anything. Okay. I would say A Silent Voice. Koi no Katachi. Yeah. For all yeah. the true weebs out there. Like, I definitely give that a 10. Um, And, and I feel like this, uh, to me, the movie is so good that it definitely, like, Kimi no Nawa overshadowed this, A Silent Voice. Like, Kimi no Nawa got so much. Because they all so came much, out at the same time. Yeah, and Kimi no Nawa got so much attention, and everyone kept saying that it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. And when I, when I watched it, I did not see what other people saw. I found A Silent Voice more better than anything. I feel like that's that's A Silent Voice's flaw, is that it was, so, it was overshadowed by Kimi no Nawa. Wait, how is that a flaw though? <laughs> it just That's got just like overshadowed. It didn't get it didn't it didn't get its it's like Okay, its but time. pretend it pretend it's just by itself though, like pretend it's in a vacuum. You know, you're watching the movie. <laughs> what other what flaw? No, like a vacuum of space. Like there's nothing around it. Okay. Pretend we're in Cowboy Bebop <laughs> and we're in space <laughs> floating around and you're watching Kimi no Nawa <laughs> in your little scuttling ship. Or you're waiting to get picked up. What flaw would be in the movie, or if any, or whatever? I don't know. For you, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I literally like my only thought that comes uh, in my head is that it was definitely overshadowed by Kimi no Nawa. Kimi no Nawa. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my thing about my thing about Kimi no Nawa was. I didn't give it a 10. I did at first, but I changed it to like a 9, I think, or 8, 8 something. I gave it a 7. I think it's a fine movie. Um, yeah. I just don't think it's... Nick taught me that he... Because this is one thing that... This is why I'm changing a lot of scores recently. Is Nick was like, but is it... But like, according to your list, is it better than this other thing that you gave a 7 or 8 or whatever? Oh, yeah. So that's like interesting. This is kind of going into a side tangent for like how we score things. We did an episode on that, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Like a while back. We did. But yeah, like, oh, if you give this a 10, that means it's on a higher tier than the 9. So. Right. You know, you just got to think about that on your own on your own list of things that you've seen. So, yeah. Right. So that's that's kind of like why that's another reason why I changed it. Does that change like how I feel about it? No, I still think it's a fine movie. And I still think it's a great movie. 
But like when I look at it, when I think about like watching it, there's some other things I think about it that if 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 those things were different or were were changed, it probably would be a ten out of ten. But then like, yeah. Uh, so I don't think, I think it's the perfect film, but I don't think it's a ten out of ten. But yeah, that's an interesting idea too. Like it can be perfect, but not a ten. Yeah, yeah. Like a good example. Lo- a long time ago, like uh, Demolition D, when he still posted, he he talked about this little short. It's like a five minute short called Pendulum, and it basically is perfect. But because it's only, it's like th- not even five minutes, it's like three minutes about a guy like living his life, and there's like a pendulum swinging, and it's it's really artistic and really well made. And it's like, yeah, technically that was perfect, but it was too short. It didn't have enough ideas, or it didn't like explore anything in in uh, enough depth to like really give it a 10 like it's a perfect seven out of 10 <laughs> like, you know what i mean like, that's how i feel it just, about it has a lower ceiling high floor low ceiling that's how i feel about dead leaves like it's oh man a lot of people don't like that movie but yeah i i, I thought it was like a, the perfect six six or seven out of ten but like oh i see what you yeah, mean so it like, like but, did exactly what it was trying to do but it just what it was trying to do wasn't enough yeah there wasn't a lot of depth like if I had known more about Pandy and Retro, it probably would have made a little more sense. You know what I mean? Like, but they didn't explore them enough, I don't think. So it's just kind of like whatever. But like, yeah. Yeah. On the other hand, though, sometimes it's good to leave some mystery there. Like in Fooly Cooly, we saw how that turned out. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> when sure. When they did the sequels to or sequels slash prequels to it, we didn't need those. Like, it's better to leave it. You know, a little bit ambiguous. Leave it alone. It doesn't need anything. Right. Fooly Cooly, I gave that one a 10. Is it perfect? Honestly, I kind of think that show is because it's really short. So It really is. It's just there, enough. There wasn't much wasted space in that show at all. It's just enough. Um, You know, it's like a perfect coming of age, like crazy Gynax, you know, Im- show, right? Right. So, but I mean, if you don't like that type of story, you don't like the, the really over the top, um, style then you're not going to give it a 10 so it's almost so perfect in six episodes that if it was any longer you probably think it's too much like yeah and who knows maybe if if i watched it now for the first time and if i'd never seen it and i watched it now or like let's say you give it to like a 50 year old and they watch it and it's like would they give it a 10 because they didn't watch it when they were younger right it's kind of meant for a younger audience but maybe they would i don't know it's it's a time it's a timing thing too i feel like they would have a hard time but i mean it would be Depending on, you know, their personality. You know, like, I feel like if you would show an an older person, fully coolly, that doesn't, that they don't really associate with anime too much, you know? I don't yeah. think that they would give it a 10. But if you would, if you would give it to a 50-year-old who's, like, grew up on Dragon Ball Z, Mm -hmm. you know, they might give it a 10. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or not. And the other thing, too, is it it had references to, like, other anime. You didn't need to know the references, but, like, if the more you know, the more you might give it a 10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's, like, a lot of Lupin, like, Lupin the Third references. Yeah, and and Gainax referenced its own stuff. So, and we we had a fully cool episode where we talked more about it. We talked about Fooly Cooly, and then we talked about the other, yeah, the other two. That were just oh like, god, god, <laughs> god, yeah. Which one was the really bad one? Progressive, progressive, and all. Yeah, progressive was the one with the headphones girl. And then the other one was just like meh. The other one was but like, it was kind of cool because it kind of it had a couple of good moments, but yeah, it yeah. was like the original, but with four girls instead of it, just it talking. It didn't really feel like Fooly Cooly, but it didn't like, really feel like them, it. Yeah, yeah, neither of the sequels felt like the original like at all yeah. it was weird and then there were random moments where haruko was talking some like vague shit to the one guy and it was like okay you guys clearly know what's going on please let us know what you're talking about because <laughs> whatever you know but anyway this is now the fully coolie podcast again again which is better fully cooler angel's egg which is better <laughs> fully cooler angel's egg. they're completely different so wait nick <laughs> hold on so a that's an idea hold so on. like based on the, oh go ahead no hold on i'm, I'm telling you I'm asking you, what are some shows based on what we've said so far on your list that you've rated 10s? Oh, um, 
So something we haven't talked about. I mean, obviously, my best example is Neon Genesis Evangelion, right? And I'm I'm a little disappointed. It's kind of crazy because like I'm disappointed in, in the episode that we did that I did, or at least my preparation for it. Like I feel like I didn't do a good enough job on that. Um, well, especially the movie. Well, here's your chance to uh, to make well, it no, right. Well, no, I didn't prepare that much either for this one, so <laughs> we're just gonna have to go with it. But like, let's see. So Evangelion, everybody knows I give that a ten. Uh, let's talk about one that like, let's see. That is not a ten on mine. Well, of course not, Danny. You already gave Fruits Basket a 10. It's one or the other. I don't know where I'm going with both. that. <laughs> what the hell? Like... <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm borrowing that from the ANN cast. I said, Fruits Basket is Evangelion for girls. <laughs> and that was like a compliment to it. <laughs> so, I don't oh, know. For whatever reason, I think a lot of... I think Evangelion is more like male. Has more of a male fan base. I don't know. Maybe not. Because the main characters, anyway. Um, <laughs> look, Satoshi Khan, right? Basically, most of his stuff you could argue is a ten, but especially for me, Perfect Blue and Millennium Actress, those are movies. Um, we had a Perfect Blue. I think we talked about both of them actually in, in like you did. in different episodes. We you talked did. about Millennium Actress a while ago, and then we talked, and then Kolka talked about Perfect Blue. Like, I don't think we've actually done a Perfect Blue app, but yeah. Well, yeah, we did like a s- portion of it. Yeah. Um, but like these are the example of that long German word that I can't think of, <laughs> the Gesundheit thing. That's not the real word. Gesundheit. Where everything flows into the main theme, right? And especially the cinematography of these movies is like is is mind-boggling, right? Where you have like these crazy cuts and transitions and you're kind of mind-fucked. You don't know what's going on necessarily. You got a little unreliable narrator. You got you're just not even quite sure what's happening. And it's, it's like really beautiful. And like, if you rewatch them too, it gets even better. Like that's the thing too, about all, all my tens is the more you watch them, the better they get to a point. So those are like some movies and like Danny and, and you were saying like movies, it's easier for a movie to give a 10 to get a 10. Cause it's shorter. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of make it all in one go. You know, they're not like, they don't have like staff and production issues, but I guess we're talking like TV shows, Oh, like Evangelion, obviously. Like I, I mean, Evangelion is a perfect example because here's the thing: Evangelion's not actually perfect, right? It has flaws, sure. Like, yeah. and I'm not just talking about the last two episodes where they like fucked with the animation and stuff, but I'm talking about just you could you could point out random things. There's a couple episodes in the middle that are that are like good, but not tens. And yeah, they had production issues in the last half of that show where they were just kind of lower on time and they had to do some rewrites, you know, to get it on TV and everything. Yeah. And yet they they made, um, I forgot the saying, but they made like a lemonade out of lemons or whatever. <laughs> lemonade. They, out of lemons. they did the best they could with their limitations, right? Right. And I appreciate that. And it actually it it actually is good. I'm not just talking about their effort. Like I don't give a shit. Honestly, I don't care how much effort somebody puts into something. You know what I mean? Like you could you could put your life's work into something it could turn out dog shit you know what i mean like if i if i tried to recreate evangelion and i spent my whole life on it it would be horrible right and I, oh you put in all the effort and that's not like a slam so that's just like that's life yeah that's real shit yeah yeah there's one on here that i don't want to mention because it's because it, we're going to talk about it later um we'll talk about it in the coming months let's just say <laughs> it's from this decade but i don't want to like say it yet i don't want to spoil it yet um it's a surprise I guess you could say I didn't give I didn't give this one a ten, but Berserk, the 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 real Berserk from nineteen ninety eight. The real Berserk. Ninety seven, ninety eight. Um, that one had some flaws, like the ending. Everybody, like the very end, like the last episode, kind of ends on a cliffhanger. Um, you could argue that's a flaw, and the animation wasn't perfect, but every like the highs were so good in that show, and like the character drama and the the music by Hirosawa and all that. And it suits Yeah. Suits me. Yeah. And, um, you know, Griffith and guts and Casca, like they're, you know, their interplay and all that. And then, the, and then the, the climax of the show is just like unforgettable. So it's like, yeah, I, you, I could see everyone, people giving that a 10 cause it's a great show, but yeah, again, it has flaws. So yeah. Another thing too is like, that's, that's a, like, I think Nick is better at, 
being a critic more than I am because like a lot of stuff Same. that I've rated, I because I know, but uh, I mean I guess it's okay. I mean it's not okay, but like I I can admit it. Like when I'm being like a a fangirl over something, like like the Digimon, no, that's okay. the Digimon Adventure yeah, Digimon Tri movies. I I didn't give them tens, but I gave them I gave them eights. And like the one in the sec, some of the parts in the second and third movie, the animation is just like, ugh. But like, it's not the great. They're not the greatest thing. Like you know what I mean. But like, I gave them high scores because they were a continuation of something that I grew up watching. You know, but so I always try and like make sure that those things aren't tens because I I don't want to try and put too much of my bias into it. But I also oh, thought you can if you want though. I yeah I guess so. I just try not to, you know. But like, kill a kill. I gave a ten out of ten. I don't know. That to me was like the perfect package. I don't I it on like with, and I say that because. It has a perfect package of everything, like, you know, seriousness and drama, and then, like, and it didn't have r- really any romance in it, but that's okay, because it didn't need it, and, like... It had the headcanon romance, but the, the Gamagori and Mako. Gamagori and Mako. The reason the I gave it... picture of the hamster eating the giant banana. The reason <laughs> I gave it a 10 out of 10 was because it, it managed to do all that on top of, like, the ridiculousness of everything, yeah, like the crazy Looney Tunes shit that was really funny. Yes. It just did everything. Like, that's why that show was great. Mm-hmm. So, like, I guess it's kind of like, I don't know. I think I think most people, and I'm kind of in agreement with Danny about the Kimi no Nama thing, too, but I guess I kind of want to move into this next part then, right? Because we could talk about all day about what we gave 10s or whatever. But what popular shows did other people give a 10 that you disagree with? agree or disagree with are there shows that you rated lower that could be tens my hero kimi no nawa okay first off all the top stuff <laughs> all the top 100 on mal <laughs> <laughs> well okay so my remember hero. remember when when erased was really popular you guys remember that yeah and it was yeah. like number one on mal for a while yeah. yeah and then the ending happened and people scored it lower and it's just like well it wasn't shouldn't have been that high in the first place but <laughs> right my no. hero, I can see like my hero is a shonen, so it's like you know, I don't know if any shonens out there would be ten out of ten to be honest with you, but my hero is pretty up there for me. Attack on Titan, maybe. Attack on Titan. This next season of Attack on Titan is going to be the last one though, so it's going to be like the the younger generation, like the generation. Well, yeah, the younger generation after us. The Zoomers, love, Danny. They're called love, Zoomers. They love Attack on Titan. No, the Boomers are the people before us. No, Sam, I said Zoomers with the Z. Oh, Zoomers. Yeah, Danny's Gen going. Z. Danny's talking that Boomer talk, though. She's like, these damn kids. <laughs> it's all shit. It's all shit. Well, it's like the younger the the younger millennials and, and the Zoomers love Attack on Titan. I like I mean, Attack on I can't, Titan. I can't speak for the rest of the rest of us millennials, but for me personally and my experience with people who are younger than me, um, they they think that Attack on Titan is a masterpiece, and I'm like, no, it's not. Well, Danny, you hate all <laughs> shonen and male. I don't hate things. all shonen. What are you talking about? Death to all men. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what the hell? I enjoyed Demon Slayer. Okay. That's true, actually. Okay. But that had some cool girls in it. But it's male-oriented. Yeah, I know. Th- those are the main characters. <laughs> <laughs> it had hot guys in it, Danny. That's like why you liked it. Dragon Ball, you know. Okay, that one I agree with. I like Inuyasha. Danny, that's a girl's show. <laughs> it's not a girl show, first of that's all. It's definitely a girl show. It totally show. is. Like, I, I love Inuyasha. <laughs> <laughs> No, look, boys can like it too, but it's like, you know. I like Golden Boy. Golden Boy is not a okay. A that's girl an everybody show. show. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and we both liked Magical Girl Sight. <laughs> and, yeah, and we both like Baki. Oh yeah, Baki, but that had disgustingly <laughs> muscular men in it, which everybody knows that's a ten right there. 
We need to get the sound clip of the guy like tasting the spoon and saying, "That's a 10. What the <laughs> fuck? I'll post it in the chat. <laughs> oh, um, I I kind of have that same feeling about a couple shows. Um, there's a lot of people who are younger than me who thought No Game No Life was like a 10 out of 10 show. And I'm kind of Oh yeah, everyone says No Game No Life. That's kind of It I mean that was a good yeah. show, but I'm like, I'm. It is I'm just, a good show, but I don't know I, how I, people are giving it a ten. That's just crazy to me. But like, again, I don't, I don't have a different perspective on that. So I, I mean, it's it's like an it's like an otaku ten. Yeah, it's like a there's it's an isekai, and there's isekai things about it that make people go, oh my god, that was crazy. Hardcore you know what I mean? socks with sandals, no deodorant, weeb ten. That's what that is. It's a very much weeb, super weeb ten out of ten that people are giving it. And it's just Star like, from Steins Gate ten right there. Speaking of Steins Gate, that's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> the first season. <laughs> I know the second season was controversial. I haven't seen it yet. Oh Steins Gate? Oh yeah. I don't know. I didn't finish. You it. guys hated Steins. I watched Gate, the first so. one. That's another one that people rate ten out of ten. That I'm like, it's not that hype. Like it's not that hype for me. First of all, how dare you? For a dating we sim, all, we all know it's a 10. how I feel about Steins Gate. For a visual novel, <laughs> that's a ten right there. Okay. For Just for being an adaptation of a VN, it's a very good adaptation because most VN adaptations yeah, exactly. are bad. But it's better than School Days. School Days for a harem is a ten. <laughs> all right. Fuck that. But I gave Dude, Steins Gate an so eight, good. you know, because it was still. I gave School Days like a seven. Good. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Danny's like, what did I give it? She has to scroll remember. all the way to the bottom. <laughs> she just scrolls, keeps scrolling. Danny's like, what did I give it? I really don't just scrolling. <laughs> and also, there's a lot of people on my Facebook friends list. There's a couple of them where I, I've kept. But there's a there's legit, like, last weekend. Not this past weekend, but the weekend before. I went through my Facebook friends list and was getting rid of all the you know trash people, and all the nine, all the disgusting nine out of tens. Basically, Some got rid of them. <laughs> basically, I I okay, legit I, deleted two of them because all they post was, all they posted was about like love live shit, and idol girl shit. Oh God, filthy love live fans. There was a couple. There's get a get out of here. Cool. There's Quoka. a yeah. Cool. There, there were just people I met through like. Like, Facebook groups. Like, anime Facebook groups. But, like, it was just like, oh, my God, dude. Wait, is that the one with Nico, Nico, Ni? Nee? Yeah. That's Love Live, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that actually is a 10, then. No, I, I hate, hate I hate, no, I hate <laughs> it, dude. There's one person on my, my Facebook friends list who I met through Weiss, and, like, they post idol shit all the time. But I'm actually friends with that person. Like, I met them, you know, like, playing Weiss, so they're really cool. But, like, some of these other people, like, they was, like, doing it. Oh my god! It was just like excessive. I don't. I do not like idol shit. Like I'm sorry. Dude, that yeah, idols. The I, a lot of the idol stuff is like really creepy, but also really hype. <laughs> it's <laughs> kind of fucking crazy. Like like if you look at it from a distance, like somebody just walks up, they're like, "What the fuck is this shit?" <laughs> but if you really get into it, you're like, "No, dude, it's wholesome, bro. She's pure." It's kind of like. I, actually, you know what? I shouldn't talk about it. But like My Little Pony fans, a little creepy. But at the same time, they have the best intentions, a lot of them. So Zayla. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I actually, like, I've heard that actually it is a pretty good show. I haven't seen it, but or parts of it were really good. But anyway. What were we so talking about again? Steins Gate. Are you ready for what I... What I Wait, uh... what? We were <laughs> talking about Steins Gate for a while. <laughs> I went to go look up... Um... Oh, what shows the, did we get a ten? What that, I made, what I, what yeah. I rated it. So just ready? go to Mal's top one hundred and like look at that shit. Yeah, but are you ready? What I rated Steins Gate. Six. I rated I it a five. How do you give it a five? <laughs> <laughs> just, just give it a one, Danny. God, <laughs> that's less insulting. <laughs> and it's ranked number two, and popularity yeah, on... is number seven. On Mal, it's it has like one of the highest scores. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we actually did a whole episode where we were like thumbs up, thumbs down if we thought they should be on that list. Remember that the top one hundred? I don't remember the top one hundred. 
We did a whole episode where we trashed the Mal Top 100. We oh, yeah, like, that was oh, funny. Should that be there? Yes, no. Yeah, yeah, that was funny, dude. Should do that again. Hashtag fuck Gintama. Just kidding. Gintama, dude. We just lost half of... We just lost our three Gintama fans. <laughs> dude, Trevor is the biggest Gintama fan in our Discord. Look, at least they're not as bad as Fate fans. Am I right? We should make, like... Oh, you know what we should do? An episode on, like, anime fandom hierarchy. We kind of like, did that are, already, but not, like... That. No anime fandom hierarchy. Like who has which which uh, properties which have, the, have the best and worst fan? Well, you know what? It's not even best. Nobody has the best fans. It's just it's just levels of hell, right? <laughs> it's just like which are the we worst. did we did an episode called "Does Fandom Ruin Anime?" But yeah, like no, I want to rank them this time. I want to rank them. The oh disgusting God. idol Planning fans on the podcast. Take a Would shot. the idol fans be on the bottom or not? I don't know. That's a good question. Tune in next time. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious, dude. Okay, something that Idol fans would be on the bottom for me. Same. Dude, we could probably come up with something worse. We probably could. Time. We probably could. So I would say Isekai fans would be on the, the bottom damn. next to idols. Hashtag planning on the podcast. Hashtag planning on the podcast. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyway. so okay. did we really figure so, out what makes a I'll ten see. out of ten? I don't no, I'm asking the worst you fans guys. are Conquer Revolution fans. There we go. Conquer <laughs> Revolution. <laughs> Damn. The pretentious overthinkers. <laughs> That's one of those shows where I was oh, really man. hyped for, and then I watched it, and I was like, okay, never mind, and I turned it off. Yeah, it had really good production. It looked great. Studio Bones, and then it's just like, what it the was like an fuck old, is It was like this? an homage to like it. kaiju and Sentai shit and Tokusatsu shit, and then it just you had to like you had to do the up. Charlie Day thing where he he's like he has the. Uh, the criminal board with all the the yarn going from picture to picture just to like figure out how to watch that show. Yeah, right, exactly. I didn't describe that very well, but yeah, you know the detective thing where they're they got the the particle board. No, not particle board. What do you call it? Bulletin that? board, and they throw the knife. Bulletin at the main board. Guy yeah, the bulletin board with all the connections between everything. Yeah. So I mean, one show that definitely shouldn't get a ten is Mob Psycho One Hundred. I mean, am I right, guys? That's a ten out of ten show. Am I right, though? That is a 10 Shout out, out to show. our Discord. No anyway. comment, because I never watched it. <laughs> Danny, come on. <laughs> Seneca is in shambles right it. now. Seneca's going to have a baby. <laughs> They're so that's, upset. That's why I said that. I was just trying to, tr- I was just trying to trigger everybody. <laughs> Sen is going to shit when they hear this. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, Danny, um, I trusted you. <laughs> Okay, what's <laughs> they're gonna like they're gonna like private DM me and be all like, What is wrong with you? They'll be like, it's Oh, I, guess, I thought this Ako- podcast was we good. I guess not. I thought we were friends. <laughs> it's gonna be like the Akko glare <laughs> where she's like glowing <laughs> oh, yeah. red. Yeah. <laughs> um that's I'm how sorry, we, son. That's how we communicate in Discord. Half of our mess everybody's messages are just emojis. <laughs> it's like we don't actually talk. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah. I, All right. So, what about what about something that you didn't give a ten that you could like something even like an eight or a seven that like okay I could see that being a ten like Eden of the East. Eden yeah. of the East. That's something I gotta watch. Still, I haven't seen that Eden one yet. Eden of the East. I, I gave did. it an eight and a half or a nine. Yeah. It definitely could be. A, it's a ten in a lot of people's eyes though. Um, it just it was a little hard to follow in the beginning, but like, and the movies are a little hard to follow just a bit. But like that's why I didn't give it a ten. But it definitely could be. For sure. I'm also kind of slow in the brain. So, like, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm just, like, fucking slow. So sometimes That's I That's on your to, dating like, profile. <laughs> I'm slow in the brain. <laughs> it's well, sometimes I have right to read there. things, like, you know, two, three times. So it's like... That everybody has to do that. So Unless you're, like, a genius. <laughs> no, like, I... Yeah, for real, because I'm sometimes I'm tripping. People will say a joke, and I'll be like, what? And then I'll have to explain <laughs> it to me. But, like, um... After the rain is another one that I could see. I didn't give it a ten. I think I feel like people would. Well, we are just shitting on Zella today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I would say I would say Monica Magica would be a good. 10. Oh yeah, I didn't give that a ten. I didn't give that about a to 10. take back that blue yeti, Danny. <laughs> no, he can't. He didn't buy it. The patrons bought it. He's still gonna take it back somehow. <laughs> I already opened it. You besmirched so. his one. Danny blue already farted on it. So I already farted on it. So I already christened it. <laughs> <laughs> it's maiden voyage. You just have an audio file of a fart. <laughs> 
we belched in it too, so <laughs> I had to mute myself. I was like coughing deadly there. I was like, <laughs> God. I mean, I didn't give it a a low score, a low low score. I I did give it an eight, so. So but it's going to be on your anime of the decade, probably somewhere. Maybe. Well, if you gave it an eight, how many things can be higher than that? I don't know. I don't even know if I put it on my my top. Well, then maybe you should bump it down. All right. Maybe you should bump it down. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree I mean, with that, actually. That's a good example because yeah. a it's a little bit controversial. Um, yeah. A lot of people, it's their favorite show ever, and it, nothing can be better. But then other people are like, oh, it was really good. Other people think it's really bad. Kind of like Evangelion. <laughs> From the New World, I think, is another one that people could give a 10. Oh, Shinsekai Yori. Shinsekai Yori. Yeah. That's well, that's one of Mac's favorite shows, I know. Yeah, this this was one of the p- Mac pitches, and I thought it was fucking amazing. Um, I didn't give it yeah, a 10. Yeah, it's really good. I, I, I don't know why, but the though. first thing I think of whenever I think of that show is the CG boulders. <laughs> the CG boulders. <laughs> I'm like, well, no, it can't be a 10. That's the first thing I think of. <laughs> right. It literally didn't matter. but um, that Yeah, that's a really good show because it's really artistic, and they change the art styles and, like, don't watch it in the dub, for the love of God. <laughs> Unless you want Greg Aries stuck in your head. Oh, the dub was bad. Um, But, yeah, like, it, yeah, it's like a, one of those 1984, like, dystopia type thing. Not 1984, but whatever. Some kind of dystopia. Close enough. Brave New World? No, that's a different one. From the New World. I should read I should read a book someday. Read a book, Nick. Anyway. God. I'm going to give one. Gurren Lagan. Oh, yeah. A lot of people give this one a 10, yeah, right? I yeah. I watch that one either. It's too manly for Danny. You would not like it. Um, <laughs> God, Nick. No, actually, this one is like the I'm ultimate boys. Fly boys over there and punch him in the face, and then anime? fly back. That's not very ladylike, Danny. I don't give a <laughs> shit. I'm gonna punch you in the face. <laughs> no, but for 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 she once, just told I'm you she farted in her mic. What do you mean, ladylike? Because like, look, as girly <laughs> as Fruits Basket is. Gurren Lagan is the opposite. It's like the opposite end of the coin. It's it's so boyish and manly, or like a boy's version of a man anyway, and like masculine and, mm-hmm. uh, you know. Oh, I have another one that's so much energy. That people give it a 10. But I do want to mention that Gurren Lagan is like good, like the positive masculinity, like looking out for your bros. Yeah, it's kind of a juvenile version of it. But yeah, it's it's yeah, it's a bro and it's like. It's like one of the top bro animes. Using your like emotions, using your emotions to strengthen you. Things that like hot that. Hot blooded passion. Yeah, you got aim for the top. You got to fight your big robots. Row row, fight the power. So, gave it an it's eight. It's okay to be scared, but you got sure to courage it an eight, up. But you know. I did. Sorry, Danny. Go ahead. You said you had another one that was. Yeah, Black Butler. Danny. If you want me to stop making fun of you, <laughs> no, but I'm saying, saying like saying girly shows. a lot. I'm sorry, but like a lot of <laughs> people like Black Butler. Okay, okay, like, you know what? I agree because this is a girly show that you don't like. Good. We're I, we're. I mean, I gave it a six. It side. was enjoyable, but I didn't really like. You really got to like stop like gendering it. Danny's taste. Like it's really fucking <laughs> shitty. Fuck like you, it's Nick. really annoying. God, dude. Right. No more bullying, Danny. God, leave yeah, her alone. let's start bullying Nick. No, we do enough of that. Good luck. You can't even bully my taste. We have to it's let Dan. Impeccable. We have to let Nick recover before we bully him again. Because right, be right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. What? What are you gonna make fun of for my Nothing. taste? Nothing. Nothing. Exactly. Because I'm perfect. You won't. You won't see it coming. Probably won't. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be something. Like Do you really know what's a good one? Somehow. Trigun. Trigun is a good one. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. That has that a, a nostalgia ten. bomb. Yeah. Dude, well, pe- the people rate this at either from 7 to 10. Because they'll yeah. rate it a 10 at first and then go back and watch it and be like, oh, well. You know what I mean? I gave it a 9. This is a show that no Gen Z person has seen. <laughs> you right. have to be millennial to have seen it. Fucking, um, I gave it an 8. Because there's some, like, filler shit that I'm like, whatever. But, you know, it's it's pretty good. But the peaks are there. It has some good it has highs. Some great moments. Yeah, I still haven't seen Badland Rumble. I heard Badland Rumble was cool. Anyway, that's a good one. People always rate it from like seven to ten. It's like it's all. It never goes lower than that, in my opinion. Like from what I've seen, anyway. But Vash's Stampede. Anyway, oh, I will say that's a ten out of ten cosplay right there. 
if you can pull it off. Just put on some stilts. Be Vash the Stampede. When I went to Anime Iowa when I was a young warthog, there was this guy who we met there. And he had, like, the perfect Vash costume. And his hair was... He had, like, short blonde hair. So all he had to do was spike it up. And it was, like, leather, red. It was perfect. It was, like, the perfect material. It wasn't, like, that shiny fake leather either. It was, like, legit. It was still pleather, but it looked like real red leather. Like, it was... It was was more realistic rather than, like, hey, I want to look exactly like the anime character. Right, right. And... It was awesome. It was really, good. and he had the he made the guns out of like the styrofoam shit. It was cool. Let's see. So let's go to a slightly different topic here. There is the concept of greatest and best that they use in like sports. So like greatest is like they have the most accomplishments. They won the most championships. But best is like oh they have the most talent. They're the most skilled, right? So would a ten. What is the difference between greatest and best? Like what? So, okay, it's kind of like it kind of ties into your greatest 10, like the the 10 that you think is critically the best, like technically the best versus the 10 that you think is like has the most value to you. Oh, okay. Like the most personal value versus like the one that you think is kind so of like, example, like kind of like what I was saying earlier, like how I rate stuff. Like, I yeah, if we're yeah. talking about real life movies, like oh, Godfather is technically better than I don't know Shrek, but I enjoy Shrek more. <laughs> right, right. What the so, hell? Those are two different genres. Yeah, what, what, no, they're not. The first of all, Danny. Bonafide. Shrek <laughs> and Godfather. Are you kidding? What made you come into my house and treat me so disrespectfully? Shrek and Godfather, completely different genres. Shrek is every genre, first of all. Shrek is no, love, it's not. Shrek is life. Call Bonacera right now. Oh I don't even know a Godfather line. You know how many Shrek lines I, I know? just did a Godfather Dozens. line just now. You want me to do it again? I can't believe you just, you just put fucking Shrek Bonacera. and the Godfather in the same category. Bonacera. They're not in the same category, though, Danny. One of them is the greatest and one of them is the best. Right? I don't Shrek even the remember best. the you last can't. time you invited me to house for a cup of coffee. You can't, like, you can't put them in the same, like, you can't do that. They're not, you have to, in order for you to do, like, the greatest and the best, you have to put, like, Scarface and the Godfather together. What about, okay, anime, let's go to that. Which is better, <laughs> Golden Boy or Angel's Egg? <laughs> just, what that's basically hell? what I did. What's better, <laughs> Working Buddies or Spirited Away? <laughs> working Buddies, one, obviously. I'm going to have to think about that for a while. <laughs> working Buddies, dude. Clearly. I mean, they both have Animal Face Johnsons, if you think about it. There's a Dragon Face Johnson, so. Oh, no, sorry. no, no. Here you go. Working Buddies or Skull Face Johnson? Like wow. Skull Face book Wait. Seller? Yeah, Skull Face book Seller yeah. or, yeah. or the Ancient buddies. Magus Bride, which has a better Skull Face no, Johnson. No, I refuse. I refuse. No, no. I refuse. I just made to, Danny's to head explode. No. <laughs> no. You can't I'm gonna do have that. to go the with the innocent, uh, cute bookworm. <clears throat> or I, don't, the daddy. I don't know. Skullface bookseller is way more. It's got relatable. way more going on and more relatable <laughs> than Working Buddies because Working Buddies and clearly these are both tens that we're talking about. Working <laughs> Buddies literally has nothing the fuck going on. <laughs> Not like nothing all. happens. And in, in, yeah, in, neither does Angel's Egg. Gave it a ten. Neither does Arya. Gave it a 10. That's true. I, that's a really hard question, though. but Because it's like, I'm not as good of a critic as, like, Nick is. But, like, it's like I said earlier, right? Like, Nick I feel like emoji. like some of the shit I mentioned earlier, like Eden of the East, those clearly could be 10s, right? But, like, I didn't rate them that because, like, whatever. But I don't Wait, know. Which on your list is the technically the best and then which one? Is just like your favorite ten, or like you know, what's the difference between those anyway? Okay, so I have, I have Akira. Okay, that's a movie. Hold on, let's see. Oh, so I have like, I have like, mm, shit. Okay, here's one. Like, here's Anohana. I have it as a nine, but I enjoyed it more than like, you know, your lie in April. Your lie in April. 
First of all, how dare you? <laughs> Those are good. Com- that's a good comparison, actually. <laughs> Better right. than Shrek versus Godfather. <laughs> okay, Seriously. Spirited Away. Look, it was just the first two that came to mind, all right? Spirited Away, a lot of people consider a better Ghibli movie than My Neighbor, right? But I have My Neighbor as a 10, and I have Spirited Away as an 8. But, like, I can see why, like, I, Spirited Away critically. Wait, my na- you mean My Neighbor yeah. Totoro, yeah. Tom? You got to say Totoro because. Oh, yeah, there's other. My Neighbor the Yamadas is a different Sorry, movie. there's other My Neighbor shit. Just call yeah. it Totoro. We all call it that. Yeah, Big Cat Face Johnson, My Neighbor. But, like, like the, critically, Spirited Away it would be, like, a 10 out of 10, like, right? If I'm being, like. Yeah, because it's the only one that got an Oscar. But, like, <laughs> but like My Neighbor Totoro is, like, 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know. It's probably the best Ghibli movie, honestly. I honestly, I am gonna like disagree slightly. Like, my top tier Ghibli movie is Howl's Moving Castle. I love Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, I have Howl's. That's funny because a lot of people, a lot of the critics, really dislike that movie. Yeah, they didn't. That's crazy to me. I thought it was good too. I, I liked it. Yeah, me too. I I really enjoyed Howl's Moving Castle. I think it's my favorite. Ghibli movie ever, and it will forever be my favorite Ghibli movie ever. I would definitely. What if put they make a above. new one, Danny? Have you ever thought of that? I mean, what if Miyazaki would... gets his cigarette laden hands and puts a cigarette out on the assistant's face and says, "Bitch, we're making another movie," and then he makes a masterpiece? What about what then? I would have to see it. I mean. Well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Miyazaki's never going to fucking retire. He said that when he made The Wind Rises. Those goddamn kids making their fucking Kimi no nowers. Okay, what about you, Nick? What's, what's your last, what's your last word? What's your last word on this? What about you for that question? Oh. Um. Okay, the for the tens here. The best. So, like, the most technically perfect ones that I've done. Probably, like, the Satoshi Kon movies. Perfect Blue and Millennium Actress. It's really hard to argue against those. <laughs> like finding critically, I think so. Yeah, and all that definitely hard to argue um, against them. But as far as like my like favorite ten out of ten that I just would like to watch more often, Cowboy Bebop probably because it's easy to watch. Um, obviously, even Gellin is like my number one anime, like my favorite. And I think it's also the best, but I could see how people would nitpick it. Cowboy Bebop, same way, but it, you know, it's just it's got more sentimental value. So can definitely boom. agree on that. Cowboy Bebop, I can watch any time. It's the same thing with Fruits Basket; I can watch it any time. And another example, probably more a better example, is uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena. <laughs> yeah, that one too. Which is a little bit difficult to watch, but, but it's also very watch, but there's strong. a movie for it too, so you can yeah, just the, watch the movie. Technically, the movie you want to see the show first, but um. But I then, did like the opposite, actually, I watched the movie first before I watched the show. God, and you probably watched it in dub. Gross. Oh God. The movie dub wasn't that bad. I know the show dub was real bad, though. Anyway. You know nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing, Jon <laughs> Snow. You haven't. Any- See, Danny, you have watched Game of Thrones. You're a secret Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> I've never seen Game of Thrones in my You're life. You're a closet and never Game will. of Thrones fan. Disgusting. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You just quoted the show. All right. Where was I? School days. That's right. That's my number Ew. one. Gross. All right. That, we Gross. should just end it on that. <laughs> 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 like, cut all this out and just say school after I said school days, number one. <laughs> just, like, immediately go into the outro. Anyway. Let us know what you think are your 10 out of 10. Let us know if you think Nick was right or I was right or Danny was right or all three of us are right. Or or if we're all wrong. Or if we're all wrong because we could be fucking dead wrong, dude. Fucking, We're probably wrong. No, none of us mentioned Aramanga Sensei, so fuck. Well, you mentioned it just now. Yeah, but we didn't praise it enough. That being just said... <laughs> I've been Sam, that's been Nick, that's been Danny, and this has been the Animus Summit Podcast.